Laura, thank you. The Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America released the top 100 cities that are the most difficult to live in for spring and fall allergies in 2021. Grand Rapids coming in at 24 out of 100. They further reported that both spring and fall pollen has gotten increasingly worse every year. But why is that? Meteorologist Samantha Jacks breaks down the report. Hey, San. That's right, Jay. APA cited several studies that indicate human-induced climate change to be the dominant contributor to the recent increases in the length and intensity of pollen season. This begins with humans increasing the amount of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere, causing our CO2 levels to go up. Several studies have shown that higher levels of CO2 are directly related to pollen levels. If one goes up, so does the other. The president and CEO of AFA explained that this is actually more common in larger cities like Grand Rapids. So you think it, if you're out in the countryside that maybe you're around trees or, or other things that it would be more intense there, but actually within cities, it magnifies the impact of climate change because it's that much warmer. There are more pollutants, more carbon dioxide and ozone, which fuels the uh, more intense releases of, of uh, pollen. And another study showed that when we increase the levels of CO2 in the atmosphere from 400 parts per million to 800 parts per million, that grass and ragweed pollen levels double. Levels that scientists believe achievable if we do not curve the current emissions and trends of climate change. And not only are allergy seasons becoming more intense, but they're also getting longer due to our longer growing season caused by the cycle of climate change itself, all of which are causing people to notice those stronger and more effective intense side effects from their allergies and showing the direct connection between our environment and our health. I mean, we are the leading indicators. We're like the canary in the coal mine. People wonder about what is climate change doing for your health. If you're experiencing worse allergies, it's because of climate change. And that's the linkage we want to want to make sure people understand. A hard-hitting but scientifically backed message. And if we want this change, well, we need to slow the parts of climate change that we can and control that climate cycle. That means reducing our CO2 levels and in turn, reducing our pollen levels. Meredith.